Thank you. Next, we'll move to Anthony Lombardi. Good evening, Anthony. We're here discussing House Bill 5741. You have the floor. Please limit your testimony to two minutes. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, Chair Shanley and members of the committee. Good evening. My name is Anthony Lombardi, and I'm a legal fellow at GLBTQ, Legal Advocates and Defenders, and a Providence resident. GLAD is New England's leading legal advocacy organization for LGBTQ rights, and we are grateful for the opportunity to provide an overview in support of House Bill 5741, and we've also prepared more in-depth written testimony. As Representative Edwards mentioned, this is a simple fix to benefit many different folks in Rhode Island, including those who are transgender or non-binary, young families, and any individual who needs assistance with facilities. This is a straightforward and common sense update to the building code and will ensure safe and inclusive access to restrooms in places of public accommodation. House Bill 5741 requires single user toilet facilities in public buildings or places of public accommodation be made available to persons of any gender. In other words, simply requiring that signs are labeled restroom without reference to a specific gender on a single walk-in restroom. At least five other states have enacted similar laws. This bill also provides that new state and municipal building construction include a single-user toilet facility that is available for people of any gender. This provision is modeled on the Rhode Island law about baby changing tables, which has been on the books for over 20 years. Further, it provides flexibility for cities by providing a waiver for unreasonable hardship as it's currently drafted. And it empowers the Building Code Standards Committee to adopt rules and regulations to enforce these new requirements. As I previously mentioned, this is a straightforward, common-sense bill that will address the needs of many different Rhode Islanders in the community, and in the immediate term, the bill would just require a simple change in signage. GLAD supports House Bill 5741 and believes that this legislation will promote safe and inclusive access to restrooms in places of public accommodation for all in the Ocean State. We would also encourage that the implementation date under subsection A be updated to January 1st, 2022, based on the Legislative Council's explanation. Thank you very much, and I'm happy to answer any questions. 